In this video, let us see the sign convention of shear stress and also the suffixes of shear stress. What does the suffixes of shear stress represent? First, we need to understand there will be phases and directions. If I say there is shear stress tau and this 1 and 2 represent the suffixes of that shear stress and this 1 represents the phase on which the shear stress is acting and this 2 represents the direction of shear stress. So there will be 4 phases and 4 directions. Phases, directions. There will be positive x phase, negative x phase, positive y phase and negative y phase and also positive x phase, sorry positive x direction, negative x direction, positive y direction and negative y direction. So what are these phases and what are these directions? See here there is a body and coordinate axis are in the middle x and y. If I say positive x phase in the direction of x in the direction of x the phase coinciding with the axis is called positive x phase. In the direction of positive x the phase coinciding is called positive x phase and uh, what will be the positive y phase in the direction of y the phase coinciding is called positive y phase this will be positive y phase and uh, what will be the negative x phase negative x phase will be in the direction of negative x this is the negative x direction in the direction of negative x the phase coinciding is called negative x phase this will be negative x phase and what will be the negative y phase in the direction of negative y the phase coinciding with uh, negative y will be negative y phase this will be negative y phase and now we have seen the uh, phases and what will be the directions if the shear stress will be acting in this direction it will be positive y it is traveling towards the positive of y and if i say if it is traveling like this it will be negative y so this uh, this will be positive x. If it, uh, shear stress acts in this direction, it will be positive y. If shear stress acts in this direction, it will be negative x. If it acts like this, it will be negative y. So we have seen what are phases and what are directions. If I say tau x y, what does it represent? This x represents positive x phase and y represents positive y direction not only this it can be like this also it can be negative x phase and negative y direction it can be both we need to multiply the positive and positive here negative and negative this will be positive so then the shear stress will be positive. Let us take the shear stress acting like this on this body. If there is shear stress acting like this and you uh, let me write it here this is the uh, front view of this body. If the shear stress is acting like this, in order to maintain uh, the body in equilibrium, other shear stress will be acting in this direction. And other, uh, this two shear stresses will form a couple on this body. And to, and to maintain this body equilibrium from this couple, other shear stress will be acting in the opposite directions like this. So this is how the shear stresses will be acting. So if you consider this, what will be the shear stress, uh, what will be the suffixes for this shear stress? Tau is the shear stress and it is on the which phase? It is on positive y phase in the direction of y. The plane coinciding is, the phase coinciding is called positive y. So positive 
y and it is acting in which direction it is acting in positive x direction positive x so plus into plus will be plus only so tau y x then what will be this force and this uh, shear stress will be tau it is acting on positive x plane positive x plane x space and it is acting in a direction of positive y so positive y so plus into plus will be tau x y this is tau y x and this is tau x y let me write it here so first this is tau y x and other force will be tau x y and next is this force sorry shear stress this shear stress will be it is on negative x plane this will be negative x space this is because it is in the direction of negative x the phase coinciding in the direction of negative x is x uh, negative x space so tau is the shear stress negative x space and it is in the direction of negative y negative y so minus into minus will be plus so tau xy will be the shear stress this will be tau xy this one and what will be this tau it is on negative y plane so negative y plane it is in the direction of negative x so negative x it will be tau y x tau y x so this is how the suffixes are represented so this will be tau it is on uh, which plane which phase it is on negative y phase and negative x direction and this will be tau it is on negative y plane in sorry uh, negative x phase in negative y direction so then how will be the negative forces we have seen the uh, positive shear stresses and how will be the negative shear stress so this is the body we have consider this shear stress now we consider this shear stress if this shear stress is applied on this body in order to maintain equilibrium other shear stress will be applied like this in order to maintain this couple uh, in equilibrium uh, in order to maintain the body in equilibrium from this couple other shear stresses are generated like this so if you consider this what will be the tau xy so tau this is positive x this is positive y it is on which phase it is on positive y phase positive y and it is in which direction it is in negative x direction so this will be minus tau y x and what will be this value this shear stress is on positive on positive x in negative y so minus tau x y and what is this it is on negative y plane and it is in positive x direction so this will be plus into minus will be minus tau y x and this will be tau is shear stress it is on negative x plane and in the direction of positive y so minus tau x y so this is how suffixes are represented so concluding this if it uh, if the shear stress acts in this direction other shear stress will be generated in order to maintain an equilibrium from this couple other shear stresses will be generated like this this is positive positive shear stress and how will be the negative if it is shear stress is applied like this and uh, in order to maintain equilibrium other shear stress will be applied like this in order to maintain the body from body equilibrium from couple 
other shear stresses will be generated like this by the body. So this will be negative shear stress. This is what we have seen in this video. So what will be the values for this? This will be tau. It is on positive y plane in x di positive x direction. This will be tau uh, positive x plane in positive y direction. This will be tau uh, negative y plane in negative x. So negative y phase negative x minus into minus will be plus. So it is positive value and this will be on negative x plane negative y direction minus into minus will be plus. So this will be this is on positive y plane y phase and uh, negative x direction so it will be minus and this this is tau it is positive positive x and direction is negative so minus and this is tau it is negative y phase and positive x direction this is negative negative y phase sorry negative x phase positive x direction plus into minus is minus so this is how we need to understand the sign conventions for shear stress and also uh, the suffixes of shear stress if this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you